You're on one-on-one -on -one with Ian Philip. Our sponsors today, the Hilton Hotel, L'Atelier Touche, and Stafford & Chan. Today we have the CEO of DSL Toys, Mano Sharif. No. And she is also the CEO of a global Sri Lankan brand, Tikiri Toys. Welcome, Thank Mano. You. Thank you. It's nice to be with you here. So Tikiri Toys is the only brand that exports organic rubber toys out of Sri Lanka. That's correct, yes. And you all recently acquired a, a certification or an accreditation? Yeah, it's an accreditation actually. Um, it's something that was, wasn't was there globally yet. So Tikiri became the, the first global brand to have the accreditation. So, so Tikiri uh, became the first global brand to receive this accreditation for rubber toys. That's right. Right. And you also have won so many awards. The Mum's Choice Award for uh, Me Are The Mouse. And uh, there's, let's see here. We've got... Uh, Lilith the Lama. Lama. <laughs> Lilith the Lama. <laughs> so lots of uh, Sri Lankan names uh, that go overseas. Yes. Very proud to be having all Sri Lankan uh, we have Mia, we have Hava, we have Gemba. So and uh, there's quite... Bonica? And Bonica, yes. All right. <laughs> so uh, I can imagine you must be very proud. Uh, tell me, Mano, how did this all start? Well, I mean, actually, the uh, making of toys started 30 years ago. Uh, the soft toy part of it. And uh, we've been producing for global brands uh, for I would say up until 2015 and uh, that's when we decided that it was time that we uh, we come up with our own brand. I mean, uh, we felt the time was right and uh, we had, um, we were very excited to come up with something and Bonica was our, the, the very first brand and uh, for me, doll was uh, you know something that uh, I thought was uh, I love my dolls, so <laughs> that's when I thought. And then Bonica was the uh, the choice of my uh, name for the brand, and uh, we started doing very well. Actually, uh, it, it was mainly for the UK market, and uh, it slowly grew um, globally. And then. Um, I was very uh, interested in using local materials because uh, all of, I mean, as you know, in Sri Lanka, we don't have a lot of raw materials in terms of stuffing, in terms of fabrics that is needed. Everything is imported. So we needed to come up with something that uh, we could use the Sri Lankan raw materials. And uh, I came across natural rubber, which I thought was perfect perfect yes. for what I was looking for and uh, and uh, with all the you know the environment so the wanting to use natural sustainable materials yes. so uh, so natural rubber was the the right choice but uh, we soon found out uh, the, the little plant where we started making the uh, rubber toys couldn't cope up with what we were uh, selling I mean we came up with uh, Mia the mouse, which uh, which really um, was unprecedented. The sales were yes. going uh, really good, and um, within a very very short time, we decided that we need to uh, start our own uh, rubber manufacturing uh, plant, and uh, which we did within months. And uh, so that was uh, five years ago, and now we are. We've become a global brand in rubber. I mean, in rubber, we are uh, we have kind of pushed ourselves to the uh, third position in the world, I would say. Uh, there are two other brands which are 
uh, number one and two, uh, it's French and Spanish brands. Right. And uh, the both companies are 52 years old. So for us with five years, I think five we years. have come a long way. So five way. years yes. exporting to 56 countries. Exporting to 56 countries and, and, and uh, growing. Yes. And growing. <laughs> so we have uh, Lilith, Mia, Bonica going to homes all over the world, 56 countries. Tell me, how did you grow this brand in five years? What was your journey like? It was, uh, I would say it was an exciting journey and I wouldn't say it was very uh, difficult either. I mean, I would be lying if I say we, we uh, had a huge struggle. I mean, I think we had the right combination of materials in terms of uh, what's uh, the sustainability uh, was one of the main things and it is growing. And mm -hmm. then uh, I think we came up with the right uh, the look, mm -hmm. I think people loved the the mouse, uh, which ended up being Mia the mouse. Mia the mouse. And one. then, um, as I said, uh, everyone was looking for friends uh, for Mia, so I came up with an elephant, which was uh, uh, which I called Alvin. All right. And then came along the friends uh, Hava and Gemba, and then. Ethan the Hedgehog. Okay. And we have, uh, I think I have written two books, little okay. board books on the stories, and um, it has become a, you know, uh, it's it's really uh, very uh, satisfying when you go for shows overseas to uh, see really people asking for Mia, for Bonica, and so, Hava. Is this your creation? Is this yes. your idea? Yes, I would say I'm the creator. <laughs> yes. You're the creator of me, uh, who's gone into so many homes and made uh, lots of children happy. Yes. Okay, congratulations. Yes, thank you. Um, tell me, Manu, how do you keep up with current trends? And are you constantly looking at improving your product? Oh, yes, very much. We have to. In the in the world of toys, I mean, it's it's going. And then also all, the, all of our toys are zero plus so it's from um, age zero basically so we there's whole regimen of testings that we have to do from fabrics to uh, then the strength of the yes. um, the sewing and uh, heavy metals so the whole gamut of uh, you know testings that we have to so we adhere to all of the american european standards australian um, so all that is uh, as per the international requirements and uh, yes we do I mean we do travel we see what's out there we uh, look at how we can improve so we we continue to and then I look back home here to uh, my inspiration in terms of the animals uh, and uh, nice. there's a lot actually that we can get from here and uh, yeah. It's uh, it's been a journey, yes. Right, and do you plan to grow the family of animals? Uh, to, yes, because actually my first tikiri, I mean, we started with uh, the safari animals. Right. And uh, then people were looking for more. So we have tikiri safari, we have tikiri uh, uh, farm animals, then the ocean buddies, and now the, the newest one, which I put out in uh, 2021 is the uh, Arctic animals. So uh, now it's like uh, becoming uh, a collection for your little one. You right. know? So it's not only a tea thing or a bath toy, but uh, something that they would learn with, learn yes. about the environment. Yes. And so that's exciting to keep. So people, retailers look out what's coming next. So we have to keep giving them keep something. Giving yes. them a story. Oh, wonderful. Yes, uh, okay. So there is, there is more to it than just a, a teething toy. There is a, there's a learning and education. Yes, uh, definitely. I mean, I think that's why we won these awards. Sort of the mum's uh, choice is mainly, I mean, uh, they look for... So this would be the mum's choice award? That's right. So basically they look for originality, the educational part of it and uh, the product quality. Um, so I think, uh, and I mean, they have established a, a sort of a standard and uh, we have reached it, so. 
Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Manu, for coming and telling us about Tikiru Toys. Would you like to tell us what you have in store for Tikiru Toys in the, perhaps the next five years? Next five years, yes. Um, well, basically, what my vision is not to stop at toys because it's uh, Tikiri as a brand is now well known globally. So sure. it's kind of time that we uh, come up with other brands. We, we just started it with uh, a gift pack of clothing. So it will be uh, Tikiri uh, gift packs with uh, teethers and baby grows and stuff like that. So right. uh, right. we're looking at uh, reusable nappies. We are looking at uh, uh, like uh, baby feeding sets and okay. uh, so a lot more. A lot so more. So Tikiri Toys year. will expand their range into more baby products. Yes, that's that's the whole idea because people are looking for it. Now that they know Tikiri, they're looking for, they Tikiri. trust us and they're looking all right so congratulations again thank you and thank I you. Wish you all the best thanks Ayanti. it's been a pleasure talking to you you're on one-on-one -on -one with Ayanti philip our sponsors today the hilton hotel latelier touche and stuff and shop